All right, so the Bayonetta situation has been a hot topic as of the last few days here, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys my input on the situation. Now, if you're not familiar with the situation, the original voice actor of Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 has come out in against Bayonetta 3. She came out in protest against the game, asking everyone to boycott the game and donate your money that you were going to spend on the game onto charity. She gave a few different reasons why, but the main reason why is the fact that she ended up getting a final offer for doing the entire game as a flat rate of around 4,000 US dollars. Now, then she also gave another statistic of Bayonetta franchise made over $450 million on the Bayonetta series. I don't know if that was both games combined or the last individual games. Not entirely sure, but the point is the franchise is very profitable and made lots of money. And the main voice actor of the game was getting a offer of four thousand dollars if you're looking at it from the surface just like off that information alone off the surface because that is kind of all the information that we do have to go off of at the moment we're just kind of playing he said she said game here and she the former bayonetta voice actress is saying that she was lowballed at four grand for the entire gig and is asking everyone to boycott the game for those reasons my kind of two cents on this whole situation is, yeah, I think she should have been offered a lot more money. I mean, if we're looking at, you know, <laughs> the entire profits of Bayonetta at the numbers that she gave uh, going off of those numbers, I think no doubt in my mind she deserves more money than that. Obviously, that's kind of a polarizing thing, especially in the United States these days, whether or not someone deserves more than they already are getting. I mean, you look at our, our minimum wage in, in this country and it, you know, it's really hard to argue that so the minimum wage should not be changed. And again, these are all you know our opinions and whatnot. So everybody has a different one. Uh, but in in, the, in your <laughs> you're listening to this video because you're interested in my opinion on the situation. And I kind of feel like she should be getting more money off of that. Now, I'm sure there's more information that we don't know, even more than she gave. And it's probably going to be in her favor in terms of whether she should be getting paid more for the job. While she probably does other things uh, besides the Bayonetta games, I'm sure she has other gigs that probably affords her bills, hopefully at least affords her bills for her. I think she deserves a living wage when you're talking about doing this game. I don't, And that's only something that her and the franchise can talk about, which they already did. And basically by giving her $4,000 offer, they're telling her that you're essentially a part-time gig here. We're, you're just a small portion of our game. And she is kind of saying, I'm a huge portion of this game. I am the main voice actress for the game. My voice is being heard the most. It is the main character. And I think I should be getting a lot more based off of your profits versus my role. Where the money is going elsewhere, that's no, that's really nobody's business here. Uh, it's just, it's, a, it's between her and the game. And they obviously have disagreed there. So what do you guys think on the matter? Do you think that she should be getting a bigger offer? Do you think she should be she should be getting a smaller offer or do you think the offer she got was fair you tell me if she should be getting paid more or not i tend to think she should be getting paid more but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below appreciate you guys watching and i will see you guys in the next one